I have mentioned a couple of times recently on videos and in my blogs and I guess on my podcast too that I've been getting into Obsidian for knowledge management. I never thought I would, but I have. And for knowledge management, I quite like it. I like it a lot. I like the whole plugin ecosystem and how you can connect multiple sources together into one application. But where it does fall down is it is not really very operating system native because it's cross-platform. And whilst its underlying data structure is just files and folders, which you can kind of manipulate with the operating system if you want, it doesn't really reflect back into your Obsidian vault so well. So I've always been looking for ways to make it feel more like, in my case, a native Mac application. And this is where I came across Actions for Obsidian, which lets you integrate Obsidian with Apple shortcuts. And in this video, I take a look at what's possible. Let's get started. Actions for Obsidian is available from the Mac App Store. So quick click and install. Once you open it, you do need to go through a few steps first. First is this trial and license. And you also need this Actions URI plugin installed, which will interact with information coming from the Actions for Obsidian application. So next, you link your vault just by finding the folder. You can have more than one. I'm just going to use one in this example. Now we allow the connection to happen. It will possibly ask you to approve that on your first time, and then you're pretty much done. The only other settings you may ever need to change is just to add additional vaults. With that done, let's open up the shortcuts application and start building some examples. As always, with shortcuts, you can filter what's available by the application. You can see it can interact with all the different sorts of data types that Obsidian has, commands, data view, folders, notes, periodic notes, and a little bit more. And here is my first one. I basically want to try to replicate what you can do with Apple Notes and, and other applications where you can select some text and share it to a note. I'm going to use append to a note because that means you end up with less sort of half-filled notes and you can actually create them as you go as well. I select the right data type, which is text and rich text. I want to come from how it's available what kind of input I want to receive. A lot of this is very shortcut specific. Whether you want to pre-fill the name or it'll just prompt for it each time, the vault you want to go into, and then where in the note you should append this text to. Here are some other options that are useful. I like to have the create note if necessary and the ensure new line, probably for some tidiness. So here I'm currently researching SCOBY. <laughs> you can find out what that is. Share to the note, add in the path. And there we go. Probably need some tweaking in terms of layout, but it's a pretty pretty straightforward, easy thing to do. I could also use Raycast, for example, to trigger the shortcut as well. It's not really optimized for this particular workflow, but in this case, if I copy the text and then open up the shortcut, which you, if you have that feature, which is a core feature of Raycast enabled, paste it in so it's not great for this long text. Again, if you use a file name that already exists, it uh, it appears in the note. Not the ideal workflow for this long text, but possibly for short text, it could work quite well. Another example is opening a note. So I have this all tasks note, which is based on a, a data view of checkboxes. It's a whole other topic of conversation, but uh, I use this open note in Obsidian action. Again, pick the vault, you need to do that first. And then you can click in here, type in the name of the note. And that's basically all there is to it. <laughs> but now I'll just close that and I can trigger it from uh, Raycast. This is one that makes some more sense. And there it is. Uh, I need to get that to open in the right view, but uh, that's a more an obsidian tweak. And of course, why not? I could also open this and trigger any of these others, but this one makes the most sense with my stream deck. Open up the Elgato control panel, find an appropriate spot, create a shortcut trigger. This is using the shortcut uh, plugin for the stream deck. 
drag that on, find the shortcut, find a relevant icon, sure, a list, that makes sense, checklist, perfect, like that on. And now, you'll have to take my word for this, but when I hit the button, as if by magic, it opens up, voila. Another action possibility is interacting with periodic notes. You may be familiar with the daily note, which is a core part of Obsidian, but through external plugins, you can also do monthly, weekly, etc., etc. And then using the the fantastical schedule for today action as an input. I thought I'd have to do a loop through this, but you actually don't. It just outputs it as a list or shortcuts converts it. I use the append text to periodic note. It's quite similar to the normal append text. You give it a name, of course, the vault, where to put it, and everything else is much the same. And we can hit play. We get a little summary from Fantastical first. And then inside of Obsidian, we have a list of the tasks for the day. I mean, <laughs> I was struggling to find good use cases for my particular workflow for this, but I think you get the idea. You could probably come up with something much cleverer than I have to make this work. Another interesting thing you can do is actually trigger individual commands. You first need to hit get available commands just once. So shortcuts knows what's available, but also you get a vague idea of what that might be. It's basically what you pick from the command palette in Obsidian. I'm going to hide and show the Trello pane in my Obsidian sidebar. So in this case, I decide to open Trello. I find the command I'm looking for and then select the vault as every other time. I trigger the shortcut. It opens up the Trello application as well as opening up the Trello view. And that was my look at actions for Obsidian. You can find more about it and get hold of your own copy at the website above. And if you have enjoyed this video and you try it yourself, let me know in the comments below what your experiences were like using it. Did you find it useful? What kind of crazy wild shortcuts did you hook it up to? I would love to hear from you. I have been Christian Chiller. You can find more about me at christianchiller.com where you can also find how to support my work. Or, of course, you can just subscribe, leave a comment, share this video. Everything is appreciated. Thank you very much for joining me and take care, everybody. <music>